neighbors or possible witnesses would see it going on, and it just looked average for them. Somebody was doing construction next door to the neighbor. Charlotte Mecklenburg police say they've now made three arrests related to a theft ring that has plagued Mecklenburg County. So now we have Natisha Lance joining us live in the studio. Natisha CMPD says these latest arrests took months of investigative work to make happen. Yeah, Mary, these cases spanned over nine months and police say the suspects moved often to keep investigators off their trail. They allegedly committed these break ins while disguised as construction workers during daylight hours while homeowners were away. The suspects take a look at them right here have been identified as Alexander Panamino, Anwar Novatino and David Casado Delgado. All of them Colombian nationals. Investigators describe them as part of the South American theft groups, also called crime tourists. Those groups are known to generally target wealthy households stealing high end designer items. Now, through a search warrant of a home connected to the suspects, detectives discovered 200 watches, jewelry, and handbags with a value of $130,000. We're giving you a look at some of that loot right here. They also found $12,000 in cash. Investigators say the three are linked to more than 50 cases across the country, but 18 cases happened in the Steel Creek area between September 2023 and June 2024. Now, they also warned this group is not your average burglar who might kick in a door. These are a highly skilled group. What makes these tourist criminals or SAT-G groups different? They do surveillance. They do research on their victims. They profile, like if you own this type of business, you might have extra cash at your house or you might have jewelry. Um, they were found with uh, surveillance devices that they were using to surveil people. We've, in other parts of the country, they've used drones. They've used thermal imagers. Now, two of those suspects are still in custody, but one has been released. Detectives tell us so far there are 19 warrants, but say it could go up to 100.